is the Iron Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So as usual, we're going to take a look here at crude oil and at natural gas. But first of all, we're going to take a look here at Tesla and at NVIDIA, my two favorite traders. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, selling the stock commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have Tesla, daily chart and weekly chart. Now, Tesla, uh, the big news on that today, there are deliveries, okay? They came out with... Uh, 462,890. Uh, the expected was 463,897. Now, the other models that they had uh, for delivery, they were expecting 26,315. They came in 22,915. And you can see where Tesla stock uh, sold off here pretty good. Now, the earnings are coming out on the 23rd. Uh, I have no idea how good uh, how that's going to be. Now, it was a really good scalping opportunity because today uh, Tesla got all the way down to uh, 241.50. And right now it's sitting at 249. Uh, uh, 72 okay so I already got seven points out of Tesla which is a really good trade now again if you want to short this the easy way is TSLS which is just the Tesla short okay so let's take a look at the old chart now you can see here yesterday uh, what, what we had here we could not break through this key level is 264.86 okay so obviously if you can then we just go right to the next level here that you're looking right there you're looking at 265.60 and then we're going to be looking here at that uh, 267.59 and then your breakout at 271. But obviously it did not go there and then it went down and it went below this eight day. But you notice yesterday, let me big it up a little bit here, okay, that it closed above that key eight SMA. So it came all the way down, which is this is why I like this stock because you can look at the bottom here was 248.53 and then it rallied all the way on up here, okay, and you closed at uh, uh, 258 there. So that was a good 10 point trade okay that's the beauty of these uh, like a tesla and nvidia and all these high-end stocks here now today you can obviously we put in the lower low here but now we got my maybe a possible bottoming candle here so here's what you want to watch okay so you want to watch today's high on the upside is 250 uh 79 level okay and that's going to become right here okay and then if we can get above all that we can come down here to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at uh, uh, a 254.17. And then this is what you're really looking for is this 255.62. Okay, that's your eight simple moving average. You need to get the price back above that. If you can, then we can just follow the candles all the way on up here. You've got 257.05. We have uh, uh, 260.70. And then we can all tell you uh, this high right here, 263.98, and then your big retest up there at 264.86 here. But again, you have to get back above that eight simple average. Now, the earnings are coming on 23rd, and usually what you do is you play into that earnings, and then you dump it because I don't know how great they're going to be if you don't have the deliveries. Eh, you know, how good can that possibly be? Okay. Now, downside here, there's a lot of good key levels here that you're going to want to watch. Obviously, today's low, that was at 241.50, and then we have this 238.08 uh, 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 sitting right below it. Then what you want to do is you want to come over here to this top of this candle here, looking at 235 flat, because that's going to be very, very key. Because as it ran up, came down, then you broke out from that candle, okay? So that's what you're looking for, is that 235, if that eight day or 21 day there is lost. Now here we look for the weekly chart here. This 200 day is key, okay? That's at 236.22, uh, uh, which is basically, if you look at right on this area here, so you're very just, just above that area and between that and that 21 simple moving average. Now you look here on your eight day, you know, it, you're coming up nicely here, but again, this is a weekly chart, so by uh, Friday, you really need to have it hold that uh, 200 day here and this eight day uh, here on a closing basis. That is gonna be the key here, okay? But right now here today, it's all about the deliveries and they just, what you can say, he did not deliver. Just as simple as that. So now what we have here is this uh, candle, bottoming candle here. So you wanna trade against the high and the low. If the low is broke, you come right down here to this two, uh, uh, 30, uh, 238.09, you come over here to this right here, to your 236.22, and then we have your 235 uh, flat. Upside, the big key level is going to be right there, that 255.61. you got to get above that, then we can hit that 264 level and maybe progress all the way higher. So let's just see how this is all going to shake out because the numbers did not come in good. Okay, let's take a look now here at NVIDIA. Okay, here we have NVIDIA. This is another one of my favorite trades here. This is looking uh, very good. Now, when you look at this chart pattern here, what we basically have is a left shoulder, a head, 
and a right shoulder. This is like an inverse head and shoulders pattern going on here. So we've got to see how this is all going to shake out. Now, we ran all the way up to 127.67, and then you notice it just couldn't get above that. But you came down, and we held. We're holding this key 100 SMA and that 21 day. That's going to be very, very key. So just make sure that you watch 116.50. That's that old hondo. You want to watch that. And right here, this is going to be key. The 115.67 on a closing basis, it needs to hold that. If that is lost, then we can just follow the candles down. Then you're looking right here at 113.22 uh, uh, level. We can come over to the top of this candle. You've got 109.40. We're looking at uh, 107.42. We'll come to the bottom there. You're looking at... Uh, uh, 104, uh, uh, 95, and then we have 103, 69, and then your big retest down here is 195. Okay, now upside, you really got to get back above that eight day. See, I'm talking how you talk about that eight day. You got to get it back above that. That's 120, 44. Now you got the pinball action between basically your 21 day, 100 day, and your eight day. We got to see how this is going to shake out. But if you can get above that eight day, at 120.43, then what we'll do is we'll come to the top of this candle, looking at 121.50. We look at yesterday's high, 122.44. Then we just work yourself all the way up here, 124.03. We have uh, 124.94, and then your big retest there at 127.67. You bust out of that, we have a nice target there, 131.26. You bust out of that, what do we have? Right there, 136.15, and there's your big retest, 140.76. You break above that, it's blue sky. Now, here, weekly chart here by Friday, you can see how nicely it's holding this 21-day. Uh, yeah, did it come out below? Yes, but you're getting right above that, and now look at all these candles here are holding it nicely. That's the key. Now, what I don't like about this is you can see this very simply, okay? Series of lower highs. I always point that out, okay? But there's also a series of higher lows here. So you got almost like a wedge pattern be a matter of time before she's going to break one way or the other. I think she's going to break to the upside. you got to be a little patient. Now, again, I'm not sure because this is October. Anything can happen in October. Plus, we have that election you're going on here. So it could get really, really wet and wild kind of a situation. And that's what you got to be really be careful of here. So, okay. So realistically, what you want to watch on the upside is that eight day. 120.46. Then we can if you crack above that, close above that. We can go to all these top of these candles. We'll just look for the 127.67 retest, okay? Downside, you really have to hold that 100-day and this key 21-day here right there at 115.68. That is going to be very, very crucial. If not, we follow the candles down until you can get all, all the way possible down to 100 here and 95. Okay, let's take a look here now at crude oil and natural gas. Okay, here we have the old crude oil and we have natural gas. Now... Um, here, let me just look here on the uh, reports. Uh, it came in very, very uh, bearish here on the numbers. Um, it, it, the, the API did not line up here with the EIA. I mean, not at all. Okay. Um, so what you had here is uh, Cushing actually had a, a build of 0.84 million. Uh, gasoline had a build of 1.119 million. Uh, and crude had a big build of 3. 88 million. I mean, that is really, really, and, and this list is the only one that had a draw of 1.28 million. So that's very, very bearish. However, everything is what you're dealing with here basically is all with the war premium. Like I told you, if you watch my video here this morning and yesterday, you got to watch very, very careful on this here because you have that war premium uh, between the Israel and Iran situation going on. However, OPEC came out there today and what they said is they are going to uh, possibly, uh, let me see here what I got here. Uh, they might be uh, adding uh, to the, uh, to the uh, inventories here starting December 1st. So uh, right now they're going to leave everything uh, kind of like unchanged, but they might be adding uh, down the road here. So that is going to be very, very bearish here for crude. You take the war premium out of this. This could go right down to 60-50 level here real quick here. So you got to be very, very cautious. Now, this was trading. I mean, just went wild there today. But I told you, what did I say? Okay, watch the top of this candle. Okay, the top of that candle is uh, 72 uh, 40. Okay, today's high, what do we get? You went 72 49 and then she pulled right on back here. But you got to be very cautious because of this war situation going on. Okay, and as uh, with the inventories coming off like this, 
and OPEC with a possible, you know, December 1st of adding crude onto the market here, this could, you know, take the price of crude much, much lower. So this is a good trader. Now, again, UCO for me was a really good trader. Uh, so, you know, I, I made good money on that today and yesterday. And you know what I'm saying on this on this uh, uh, green candle here and today. But I run around right up here because what I do is I watch the top. Now, 72.40 and 72.49, I mean, you came in with, a, you know, a little over nine cents, but that's what you got to worry about, okay? So, again, if it went higher, then we could have went into that 50-day at 73 flat, but obviously it didn't, and it pulled down. Now, so far, if this candle stays the same, now, we don't know how it's going to trade the rest of the day, but if this stays the same, this is a topping tail situation, and this could go head right down south very, very quickly, okay? So, just, just remember all of that. So, this is what we're looking for on the on the uh, upside here. We're going to look at yesterday's high. That's at 71.94. You're going to look at today's high at that 72.49. Uh, and then we're going to look at this 73 level, that 50 day. That's going to be very, very key. Downside, you need to close above this eight day, 69.68. And we need to close above that 69.44. That is going to be key. If that's lost, you're going to come right to the top of the scandal, 68.65. And then we just follow these candles right on down here. Then what we have here, 67.57. What do we got there? You got 67.06. Uh, we have uh, 66.95. And then we have that yesterday's low, that 66.33. And then your big retest down here at 65.27 level. So again, trade this, you know, and just remember that war premium here. If the war escalates, this can rip higher. No question about it. But again, if that gets leveled out and OPEC starts putting pouring uh, crude oil back into the market here, this could come off very, very hard. So just make sure you're paying very, very close attention to it. Okay, now natural gas, this was also a very, very good trade here today. Now you can see where it popped right on up here very, very nicely, but you could not hold that 2.948 so far. Okay, that's the key. Now today here, we got as high as, what do we get? High as three flat. Huh. Will you believe that shit? Look at this. You come right over here to the top of the candle. Okay, what do you got? Three flat. Ain't that something? Okay, see? Always look to the left of the chart here. These are all your upside targets. These are all your resistance levels right here. Okay, three flat. Okay, three flat. Now, again, if this could rise up. We go above that three. Then we got that 309. You got 313. And then we got this 3.159 level. That is going to be your upside target, but you got to get now above that key level, that three flat here, but you got to close above this 2.948. That is going to be key. That basically was the top of this candle right here. Okay. Boom. Three flat, 2.948. Look at that. See, that's why I trade the charts. Everything you know is right here. Somebody tries to tell you that they're after looking. That's all bullshit. Just tell them to come on my site. I'll show you in advance. I told you when it was down here exactly where she's going to go. Where did it go? Right there. Okay. So trade the charts, make money. Okay. Now what we want to look here on the downside is you want to look at today's low, obviously. That's at 2.87. And then we'll come over to the bottom of this candle, looking at 2.82. And then we have this uh, eight day 2.78. That is very, very critical. Now you can see we have this sideways action uh, going on here and letting the eight day catch up. Okay, so that's what you want to do because this price always wants to seem like it's like a magnet to a fridge. It wants to get towards that eight day. Even if it comes up high, it wants to get back towards that eight day simple moving average. But a lot of times the price doesn't have to come down. Price can go sideways and the eight day come moving on up here. Okay, so for today, this is what you want to watch. Okay, watch this 2.948. You need to close above that. If you can, you just look at the three level, look at 3.09, you look at three... Uh, uh, 13, and then we look at 315. Downside, just watch today's low, okay, 2.87. <clears throat> Yesterday's low, 2.82, and this key level right here at 2.78. All right, that's what I got for you there. Now, I'll be back here uh, after your pit close, and we will take a look here at the old uh, crude and natural gas, and we'll see what's going on. Remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want.